Hello students, in this lecture we will study how we will characterize linear time invariant systems and what is convolution and what is its importance in linear time invariant system. Now let's see, there is a system which is having input x t and output is y t and this is a linear time invariant system. Got it? So now generally we will define or define a system with the help of a transfer function just that I have mentioned here transfer function t is equals to output upon input okay the ratio of output and, up and input is known as transfer function so now the output is y t and the input is x t okay but in case of LTI system there is a, there is another term to represent the characteristics of impulse response okay and I, in sequence I will explain you the importance also what is the importance of impulse response? Why we have chosen impulse response in place of transfer function? Got it? So now let's understand what is impulse response. If we will give at input a unit impulse function del of t, okay, then its output output will be known as y t is known as h of t means impulse response of the system I am repeating again the output of, a, of an LTI system when input is del t unit impulse function is known as that output is known as impulse response of the LTI system got it now it is represented by h of t it's a small h of t se hum represent karte hai. okay now let's see what is that now you can see transfer function is output upon input now input is del of t okay output is yt so output yt will be equal to t into del t this yt will be del t will be taken here and t, t into del of t now this output when input is del of t is known as h of t means impulse response of the system so you can see here that h of t will be equal to yt equal to the output and that output will be equal to del of so t of del t okay fine now we will understand that in place of unit impulse function if we will put any arbitrary input then what will be the response of the system so we can we will further study that response response at any arbitrary input कोई भी input मैंने मान लिया मैंने input दिया यहाँ पर x of t कितना input दिया x of t okay and the output is output will be y of t yes or no output will be y of t any input I have given I am not I am not put any standard function any input arbitrary input x t okay so I will find out what will be the response of this system so before starting I am I am uh, representing one property of a signal that xt any continuous time signal can be represented in the form of in the samples of um, unit impulse function like integration minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau h of sorry x of tau del of t minus tau d tau so now let's move further and we will uh, find out the output of the LTI system at any arbitrary input got it so now uh, what will be if I will put any arbitrary input and transfer function t will be equal to y t output upon input x t got it or we can say that y t will be equal to t into x of t got it now what I will do I will put the value of x t represented here okay the value of x t represented here in this case so transfer function multiplied by this value means x t is minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau del of t minus tau d tau got it now because the system is linear system linear system so you can see here we are talking about small t the variable here is a small t but tau is not a variable 
only small t is variable so x of tau will be a constant value okay x of tau will be a constant value and due to the linearity property we have understood that if we are giving an input a of x1 t in place of x t then what will be the output a of y1 t we have taken out that constant value out of the response means a into and whatever will the response of x1 t then means y t we have taken out that only okay so here also using the property of linearity using the property of linearity this x of tau we will taken out got it now what we will do what we will do we will use time invariant property okay time invariance you have understood that the transfer function of the system will not change if we will delay the input okay got it so with the with the help of time invariant property what will be what we can say that h of t if h of t is what t of del of t so we can easily write h of t minus tau as t of del of t minus tau got it t minus tau okay so now uh, i need some space so i am going to uh, erase this part so please write it so you can see here h of t minus tau is equals to t of del of t minus tau due to time invariance time invariance got it time invariance i have find out this property so now i will put h of t minus tau h of t minus tau in place of t into del of t minus tau so you can write we can see here that y t y t y of t is equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau okay and h of t minus tau d tau got it so now we can say that at any arbitrary input we can find out the arbitrary output using this expression okay and this expression is known as this integral you are seeing watching this integral integral is known as convolution integral convolution integral in signal processing like you have understood the operators like multiplication division now another operator is introduced what is that operator convolution operator okay and the convolution operator is represented like the same thing the same integral i can write it like this y of t is equals to convolution of x of t with h of t convolution of x of t with h of t this sign this symbol is for operator convolution okay so now you can see that what is convolution integral and why it is utilized it is utilized to find out the output of any lti system at any arbitrary input using impulse response okay so now you have find out the importance of convolution also the importance of impulse response also yes. so i hope now you have a good understanding of convolution and how it is used so let's see here there, uh, there is the system and i have to find out the output of the system by t okay and the impulse response of the system is h of t then this output will be equal to convolution of xt convolution of xt with ht okay now simply we will write it like this like that and what is that xt convolution xt xt convolution ht will be equal to integration minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau 
इंटू एच ऑफ टी माइनस टाओ एन डी टाओ वॉट इट नाउ वी विल फोकस ओवर कॉन्वल्यूशन ऑनली ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कॉन्वल्यूशन नाउ यू कैन सी दैट कॉन्वल्यूशन शोज थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज फर्स्ट इज कमिट कमिटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी कमिटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी मीन्स वी कैन चेंज द सिक्वेंस ऑफ दीज टू मीन्स एक्स टी एक्स टी कॉन्वल्यूशन एच ऑफ टी कैन बी रिटर्न एज एच टी कॉन्वल्यूशन एक्स ऑफ टी मीन्स इफ यू विल फाइंड आउट द कॉन्वल्यूशन ऑफ एच टी एंड एक्स टी द रिजल्ट विल बी सेम एज दैट ऑफ द कॉन्वल्यूशन ऑफ एक्स टी एंड एच टी ओके Now, associative property. Associative property. I can write it like if there are three functions like x of t, h one of t, convolution, h two of t. So we can do it like this also. First, we will convo. Uh, we will do convolution of h one t and h two t, and whatever will be the output, that output will be convolved with x of t. Okay, the result will come. Some result will come. That will be equal to exactly. That will be exactly equal to when we will convolve x t with h one t first. In this result, we will convolve with h two t. Okay, so this kind of property is known as associative property. Got it? Now distributive property. So now if So signal x t is convolved with h one t plus h two t. Then it will give x t convolution of h one t plus x t. Convolution of H two T. Okay. Now I hope that you have understood the convolution and what is its importance in LTI system. Okay. In the next lecture, we will study convolution and impulse response for the discrete time system. And if you are having any doubt in this lecture, then you can put your doubt in comment. I will try to resolve it. Thank you very much.